In this video, we're going to investigate how a secant line becomes a tangent line. So we're trying to get the instantaneous rate of change at 1. And so what we do is we start off by having a second point. Let's say we have it out here at 3. Here's our difference quotient. That's going to calculate the average rate of change between these two points. So right now we have an average rate of change of 32. So let's add our secant line to our drawing. The secant line again goes through two points. Recall that in this formula h is the distance between the two points. So at this point h is equal to 2. So what we want is to let h get smaller and smaller until we have the second point on top of the first point. So we can see h getting smaller and smaller, and we're getting closer and closer to the instantaneous rate of change. And what happens when we put this point on top of the other? We get a question mark because now we're dividing by 0. We can move it to the other side. And if we look at this number, 67.2, 65.6, 62.4, it's somewhere in between 62.4 and 65.6 is that instantaneous rate of change. Also, we lose our line there, because without the limit, we're no longer able to calculate that. So we're going to take the limit as h goes to 0, and that's going to give us an instantaneous rate of change of 64, which will be the slope of our line. So now we can add our tangent line, which is tangent at just that single point.